Ladies and gentlemen, to me, first room, accompanying our host, we also have the advisor for Department of Underdeveloped Areas, Government of Nathan, Sri N. Kongkau Panyang. Cultural groups. Mukan la chief guest ang hada day. So mano moro pra para kuna hala kuri nagyule jana idea sa. Mukan la chief guest nijo na chaka nobonja na ngan so para kuna hala kuri jana idea sa. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome on behalf of the government of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland. Thank you for joining us here today, the fourth day of the cultural program theme, Cultural Connect, brought to you by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Nagaland, in collaboration with the Department of Tourism, Government of Nagaland. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 23rd edition of the Hornbill Festival and the fifth day of the Hornbill Festival. This morning, we have an array of dances, songs, demonstrations by seven beautiful and wonderful cultural troops for you here today. But before we begin with our cultural program, 
we are very pleased to have as our chief guest, he is the president of the All India Football Federation, Sri Kalya Chobe. We also have in our midst two honored guests, the director of Arts for British Council India, Sri Jonathan Kennedy. Our other honored guest is the treasurer, All India Football Federation, Sri Kipa Ajay. Our host, on behalf of the government of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland, is the advisor for youth resource and sports, government of Nagaland, engineer Zale Nika. We are also pleased to have with us accompanying our host, who will also be co-hosting this event, the advisor for Department of Underdeveloped Areas, Government of Nagaland, Sri N. Pungkau Konya. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin with the program, let us welcome our guests in the Naga traditional way by felicitating them. Sir, at this point of time, I would like to request, first of all, our chief guest, the president of All India Football Federation, Sri Kalyan Chobe, to kindly rise. Our chief guest is being felicitated by our host with a spear and a dog. Thank you, sir. We also have our honored guests here, two very important and honored guests. So at this point of time, I would like to request the Director of Arts for British Council India, Sri Jonathan Kennedy, to kindly rise. Thank you, sir. In our midst, we also have another honored guest, the treasurer for All India Football Federation, Sri Kiba Ajay. We request our co-host to kindly felicitate our honored guest. Thank you, sirs. Before we begin with the cultural performances for this morning, I would like to take this moment to introduce to you the 14 cultural troops present here this morning. Cultural troops come this morning also. We are going to be able request The first cultural troupe, we have the Angami cultural troupe from Kizoma village.
the cultural club from Kansal village of Nogokchung district, representing the Ao Naga tribe of Nanglan. The Middle Komi Village Cultural Troupe representing the Chakisang Nagas. The Cultural Club Lotsu from Woka District, representing the Lopanagas. <laughs> the Waziho Village Cultural Troupe, representing the Butchery Nagas. The Kandi Range Cultural Troop representing the Rengmas. <laughs> the Aichi Sakhimi Cultural Troop representing the Sumi Nagas. The Jenny Lulu Cultural Troop from Chaluki representing the Zillians. <laughs> the Garu Cultural Troop from Ekrani Batar village representing the Garos in Nagaland. The Dimasa Kachari Cultural Group, representing the Kacharis in Nagaland. <laughs> the Kuki Cultural Group from New Chalkot Beren District, representing the Kukis in Nagaland. The Butchery Cultural Troupe from Kohima representing the Butcheries. The ethnic performing arts from Dimapur representing the Sumis. <laughs> the Benhill Students Union Kohima Dance Troupe representing the Zillians. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the vibrant and colorful cultural troops, those who will be re performing for us this morning and the afternoon session. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move on,
we have a very small request for all our esteemed guests, tourists, photographers, to kindly keep away from the performing arena. We are about to start with our cultural program and we request you to kindly keep away from the performing arena. Thank you. Performing first, this morning, we have the Luther Cultural Troupe from Woka, representing the Lothar tribe of Nago. Ladies and gentlemen, today the Lothar Culture Crew will showcase the dance that is practiced during their premier festival, the Dr. Imam. Food and rice beer is a part of the Naga culture. Every festival of the Nagas is celebrated with food and plenty of the local rice wine. At most times, the festival is a place, a time to share food, to share their joys, their sorrows, and all the stories with their families, their friends, their neighbors, and the village.
The chief is explaining to the villagers about the rituals that are performed during the Dr. Ino festival. According to an age old practice of the Lothar Nagas, until this festival is celebrated, no person from the Lothar community is allowed to marry or continue another job, be it a construction, be it working in the fields. Every activity of the Lothar is prohibited until the completion of this premium festival, the Toko Imam. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toko Imam folk dance of the Lothar Nagas.
ladies and gentlemen, the local opera to win their performance. From the Wazio Village, we have the Wazio Village Cultural Group representing the Pottery Tribe of Nama. This morning, the Wajiho Village Cultural Group will demonstrate for you an indigenous game of the pottery type of Nama called C. Malengo. The men are getting ready the arena for this game, the Sea Maloon Point. This traditional game can be played by both the men and the women folk. But today, we shall witness this game being played by the elders of the Pottery tribe of Nama. The players are demarcating the arena. It is very common in the tradition of the Navas that games such as this is placed during the festival times when everyone is off from work, has the time to meet their friends, catch up on stories, have fun, eat, drink. Games also form a very integral part of the Naga culture. Many of the games are also developed based on the activities that are to be performed by the men. Usually, activities such as this also train them to be physically fit, to be agile, and to be aware of their surroundings.
The stage is now set. The players are divided into groups. We see three groups at the moment. This traditional game is usually played between the soap or the cave. Mugu is the arena or the stage that has this building for the players.
to overcome the gods much before the time runs out. After a very fun traditional game by the butcheries, we now have another indigenous game by the Ringma Cultural Troupe from County Range. At the end of the year, with hard work done, young men making use of their leisure time will gather play this game called Suti, which is an indigenous game of the Renaissance. Victory. 
the women of the village in the Kacharya tribe went out halfway to receive their victorious warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, a folk dance called Bai Mai Jai by Gadimasa Kachari Cultural Truth. With rock in their hands, portraying the invincibility of their homecoming heroes, the women folk dance jubilantly in celebration of this momentous event. The warriors respond by enacting the swift movement of the brain, mantis, and the graceful star of the mighty eagle.
Getting ready to enter from the right of the main course. We have the ethnic performing art from the Mampu district representing the swimming type of Nadu. This game is a test of the men folk to perform and demonstrate their fitness and also their high jump skill. A spear has been placed and a mark has been given. The players must jump with full their feet and hit the target. If every player is successful, the stakes get higher. Can we give a loud 
cheer for the last two participants. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Ethnic Performing Arts from Dimapu representing the Sumin Khan Nagaland. The Jenny Lulu Cultural Troupe from Chaluki representing the Zinyangs of Nagaland will now present to us Harry Wee. flowers or leaves on both hands, waving or swinging, waving or swinging it in the air in synchrony with their dance steps. Ladies and gentlemen, a folk dancing performance called Hiriwe by the Zilliam Nagas.
the boys wave and swing the bunch of leaves in the air with their dance steps. Similarly, the yodeling progresses, producing a beautiful combination of five different tunes of yodeling. I 
Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Janulu Cultural Troop from Chaluki, representing the Zilian Nagas of Nagaland with Peruvi. The last cultural troop for this morning session will be the Karo Cultural Troop presenting to us a folk song of the Karos called Din Din Chong. To the sound of the drum beat, when girls and boys dance during the celebration of our Wangala festival, a young fat good pool reared in a specially built hut. Let's dance having its meat during the celebration of our Wangla festival. Let me use the newly bowed turban. I want to use it once during the year. That is the lyrics and the meaning of the song, the folk song, Din Din Chong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Karo Cultural Troupe from Ikrani Batar Village presenting to us Dim Dim Chong.
Ladies and gentlemen, our last performers, the Ekrani Village, Ekrani Patel Village, representing the girls of Nadi. Before we end the morning session of the cultural program, we have a very interesting announcement for both the cultural troops and also for all our esteemed guests, tourists and visitors. We shall be having the traditional stilt bamboo walking competition. I repeat, the traditional Naga stilt bamboo walking competition at the old MP theater. We will be having the competition from 12 p.m. onwards. So if you are interested, you can witness this very special indigenous game competition brought to you by the Department of Youth Resource and Sports, Government of Nagaland. And for the cultural troops, we also have one information Cultural troops, Abnikan Utu competition te compete globally parvo. So mano ke morong ra eta khobor janai diwo. So kai pra ekta ekta mano Utu competition te compete globally janai diya se. So mano so kai pra ekta ekta. Competitor double A Janai DLC Bamboo Still Walking Competition Limited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the morning session of the cultural program theme Cultural Connect, brought to you by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Nagu. In collaboration with the Department of Tourism. Well, that was the day five of the Hornbill Festival cultural celebration with the various Naga tribes displaying their vibrant culture and traditional dances. That's all for now. Stay tuned to Hornbill TV for more.